Now that we've had practice finding the equations of lines given a variety of different pieces of information, let's now work on graphing the line given a linear equation. So before we start these two problems here, let's first recall that our non-vertical lines all have an equation of the form y equals mx plus b, which is called the slope-intercept form of a line. While x and y are, are our input and output variables, m and b are specific parameters. M, again, is specifically the slope, and B is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. We can use this knowledge to help us graph these two lines here. So let's start with y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. First, is it in slope-intercept form? Again, the key to slope-intercept form is that the y be totally isolated. And if you look over here, the y is fully isolated. So this is already in slope-intercept form. What is the slope? Well, according to the theory, the slope is the coefficient of x. The coefficient of this x is negative 2 thirds. So we've got a slope of negative 2 thirds. And then what is the y-intercept? Well, b is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So the b value is 1 here. Hence, the y-intercept is 0, 1. Any time you have the, a point on the line and the slope, you can draw the line. So let's do that. First, plot the point. In this case, we've got the point 0, 1. We know the line goes through that point. Then from there, we can get other points by using the slope. And the slope, again, is negative 2 thirds. We can think about that as rise over run. So if we were to go up to, from our point, not from the origin, but from our point, go up to, would we want to go right 3? or left 3 to have a negative slope. Remember, negative slope means the line is decreasing from left to right. So if we go up 2, we need to go left 3 to have a negative slope. So we've got this point here. And we can continue this pattern. Up 2, left 3, up 2, left 3, so on and so forth. But also, the line extends down to the right. So we could also go down 2 and we would need to go right 3 to continue this line, down 2, right 3. So let's plot those points. And even though you don't need all these points to draw the line, technically you only need two points, but we can see a nice, clear, articulate line that represents the equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Let's do the same thing with this problem here. First, let's identify the slope and the y-intercept. Since y is already isolated, the slope is the coefficient of x which is just 2. And the y-intercept, because it's y equals mx plus b, so the b value is negative 5. Hence, the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 5. Again, to plot a line when you have a point in its slope, the first thing you have to do is plot the point. In this case, 0, negative 5. And then we use the slope from there to get additional points. Remember, if you're going to think about slope as rise over run, we need to convert 2 to a fraction. Well, any number can be written over 1. So 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. So the slope is 2 over 1, meaning we need to go, if we go up first, then should we go left 1 or right 1? Again, what determines that is whether it's a positive or a negative number. In this case, it's a positive number. So if we go up 2, we need to go right 1 so that the line is increasing from left to right. Increasing lines have positive slope. So we go up 2 and right 1, giving us that point. Up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. We could continue that indefinitely. Or if we went down 2, we'd need to go left 1, down 2, left 1. And you can see we now have this nice straight line. That is the graph of y equals 2x minus 5. Let's do a couple of examples where the equation is not already in slope-intercept form. So here are two more examples of lines that we want to graph. 3x plus y equals 4, and 5x minus 2y equals 6. They're both linear equations. We want to draw the graphs of the line. The biggest or most common error that students make is they start to all right, say, OK, the slope is, and they write down, they say, oh, the coefficient of x is 3. But remember, you can't read off the slope or the b value unless it's in y equals mx plus b form. And the key thing to the y equals mx plus b form is that the y needs to be totally isolated by itself on one side of the equation. So the slope of this line is not 3. Until you have y totally isolated, you cannot read off the slope. 
So we need to isolate y. And to do that, we got to get rid of that 3x. So if you subtract 3x from both sides, you get y left on the left-hand side and negative 3x plus 4 on the right-hand side. Now we can read off the slope. And notice it's not 3. It's negative 3. So m equals negative 3. And then we also know this line will cross the y-axis at 0, 4. So again, once you have a point in the slope, first plot your point and then use your slope to figure out other points from there. So negative three is the same thing as negative three over one. So if we go up three, we'd wanna go left one in order to have a decreasing line because the slope's negative. Up three, left one, or down three, right one, down three, right one, down three, right one, and so on and so forth. This right here is the graph of three X plus Y equals four. Same thing with this problem over here. You have to fully isolate the y first. So first move, what would you do? Well, we need to get rid of this 5x, so we may as well subtract 5x from both sides, giving us negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 6. But again, the slope is not negative 5, and the b value is not 6 because y is not totally isolated. It's y times negative two. We gotta get rid of that negative two. So we need to divide both sides by negative two. Let's write this up here. So you get y on the left-hand side. And remember, the negative two has to divide into the negative five x and into the six. This is the uh, distributed property in fraction form. So negative five x divided by negative two is just going to be positive 5 halves x. We can't reduce 5 halves. However, I don't write negative over negative because negative divided by negative is positive. So we have just 5 halves x, and then the negative 2 divides into the 6, giving us negative 3. This is the same as the original equation, but it's now in, now in mx plus b form here. So the slope, you can see, is 5 halves. And the y-intercept comes from the b value, which is 0, comma, negative 3. So plot your point, 0, comma, negative 3. And we've got a slope of 5 halves. So if we go up 5, we'd want to go right 2 in order to have a positive slope. So up 5, right 2. Or if you went down 5 initially, left 2, we'd need to go to have a positive slope on our line. That is the graph of y equals Neg or y equals 5 halves x plus negative 3, which is the same thing as 5x minus 2y equals 6. Let us look at a couple more examples. In these two examples, we are going to work backwards. In this case, we are given the graph of the line. We now want to come up with the equation of the line. Since neither of these lines is vertical, we can write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So just like we did with the other problems where we we figured out what the slope and the y-intercept were first, we're going to do the same thing here before we write the equation. So let's look at the left-hand problem here. Notice the y-intercept is this point right here. Remember, the y-intercept is the point where the curve crosses the y-axis. And if you count, that appears to be the point 0, comma, negative 3. Now, to get the slope from there, let's count from this point here, this y-intercept, to this looks to be the next point on the grid marks, right here, so on and so forth. We don't need to count multiple times, we'll just count once. So we go up 1 and right 4 to get from that point to that point, or up 1 and right 4 to get from this point to the next point. Up 1 and right 4 is a slope of 1 fourth, and should it be 1 fourth or negative 1 fourth? Well, since the line is increasing, it should be positive 1 fourth. Now that we've got the slope and the y-intercept, we can write the equation of the line. So y equals, we found out that m is 1 fourth times x plus b is specifically the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So this is negative 3. So our equation is y equals 1 fourth x plus negative 3, or many of you would just write y equals 1 fourth x minus 3, same thing. Let's look at this one. Where does this one cross the y-axis? Well, that point right there is precisely 0, 2. We also need to determine the slope. Notice this next point is right on the grid lines as well. So this is only a drop of 1 
and running over to the right by 1. A slope of 1 over 1 is 1, but is the slope positive 1 or negative 1? Well, since the line is decreasing from left to right, the slope is negative 1. Now that we've got the slope and the y-intercept, we can write the equation. y equals m, we found is negative 1, times x, plus we now found the b value is specifically this 2 right here. Again, many of you would just write this as y equals opposite of x plus 2 instead of writing in the negative 1. Both of these things are the same. Either one is perfectly correct.